Just because I picked up the Sony ZV-E10 doesn't mean I'm gonna throw the Sony ZV-1 into the drawer and just forget about it. In fact, one of my favorite features of the ZV-1 is the HFR mode, and that was also one of my favorite videos. So in this video, I figure, let's just make some more cool slow motion shots using the HFR mode. So I hope you have some time. I say we go get some more HFR shots using the ZV-1. If you're a little bit confused on how to set your Sony ZV-1 up for HFR or high frame rate mode, I actually made a video about it already and I'll leave that in the description so you guys can take a look at it. But in the meantime, don't forget to like this video. It's really not that hard, but there are some steps that you need to take in order to get the most from your camera. If you missed that video, I'll catch you up a little bit and I'm gonna teach you some tips and tricks and techniques to use while you're using HFR video. The first thing to always remember is to make sure your subject is lit very well. Don't forget the shutter speed on the ZV-1 jumps up to 1 over 1000 when you're shooting in 960 frames per second. So you really do need a lot of light in order to light your subject properly. In fact, it's probably a good idea just to go outside and use some of that light from the sun. It's always best to use manual focus when you're in HFR mode. That way you can set your own focus window and you know exactly where you need to be at when you press that end trigger. So for this, spray bottle shot. I'm just gonna get my focus with the ZV-1. And as soon as I find out where that is, I go ahead and press manual focus. And I know if I keep my bottle right here that it's gonna be in the focus window. I love that shot because the drips of water are being refracted by the light. Hey, look at that, an egg. One thing to remember when you're shooting with HFR mode is to make sure that you're not shooting in direct sunlight because then you get that harsh light on your subject. It's better to do it when you have light that's bouncing off of things. Like right now we're in the shadow and we're getting some good ambient light right on this egg. So what I'm gonna do is shoot it. I was so excited about that shot that I forgot I had to clean up all the egg. Oh shoot, my shoes are all wet. Since we don't have a lot of time to let the sun dry my shoe, I figured I would just use a lighter. And since we have the ZV-1 on the tripod, we might as well just get another high frame rate shot. I always shoot in program auto because that's just one less thing we have to worry about. So where were we? Oh yes, tips, tricks, and techniques to use when you're shooting with HFR and the ZV-1. So one thing that you wanna do first is copy down these settings. Since I don't have a camera to take pictures of those settings, I'm just gonna write them down. Oh man, it broke. Just remember to always properly expose your camera before you press the shutter button when you're shooting in HFR. Hey, a lucky penny. I'm also using the macro lens from Ulanzi. It comes with their wide angle lens kit. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I've always wondered what a rat tail looks like using high frame rate. Let's go get that shot. I always set up the camera with end trigger 
because then I can do the motion and press the button after the motion already occurs. So here's what we're gonna do for the rat tail. I also shoot in 960 frames per second, even though the image quality isn't that great compared to the other two lower frame rates, it's still pretty good as long as you light it properly. Please let me know in the comments below other things that you'd like to have me do with the ZV-1 as far as high frame rate goes, and I would be happy to make another video about this. Until the next video, I'm Joe with Film Alliance. Peace.